Okay, so I'm going to talk to you a little bit about carbon footprints. Now, carbon footprints have become something that's been um, really talked about recently because of the environmental impact that CO2 emissions are having on our not only global warming, but also on, um, uh, generally speaking, the ozone layer and the quality of air. Now, CO2 is obviously something that's, that's quite an issue. But every product that we use um, does produce it. Now, your CO2 footprint or your carbon footprint is basically um, how much every item that you use, how much carbon dioxide is um, released into the atmosphere because of it. Now, this comes from um, this comes into um, the the cradle to the grave approach. So. From its absolute um, beginnings, from its design, through to the point where it's manufactured, transported to the store, to it goes to your home, to you're using it, to you're finished using it, until it starts to biodegrade when it's in the ground. That is how we um, we talk about the cradle to the grave um, effect. So how much CO2 is, is released during the whole lifetime and the life cycle of your product. Now obviously some products will be worse because um, what will happen is they will be uh, emitting CO2 during um, use, um, such as cars. Um, so they they can be very negative towards the environment. Um, but it also kind of um, covers how it's transported to um, its final location to your home. And this is um, what is covered by product miles. Now, CO2 is released by any kind of mode of transport. So if it's been, it's in a car, a lorry, an aeroplane, or a boat, it will release some CO2. What happens, generally speaking, is um, we will sometimes buy materials from one area of the world and then ship them to another to be um, brought together into our product and then ship it to another for an, a finish to be applied and then ship it to another place for it to be sold. This really builds up the carbon miles and the product miles. If you look at any label in your in your clothing, it normally tells you where your product is made. However, what it doesn't tell you is where the material um, came from to for your product to be made. Um, it's normally where the final product actually all comes together, which can be very deceiving. So you might think to yourself, okay, I'm gonna buy local, I'm gonna buy, um, this this jumper from from American Apparel, who are very very good at making sure that all of their clothes are actually made in America. Um, but what it doesn't tell you is the fact that the cotton was picked in Europe and then shipped to India to be treated um, and woven, and then shipped to America to then be manufactured. Obviously, we have to be very careful. Um, because when we're looking at social, moral, environmental concerns, this is something that really comes into play because obviously you would like to sell products and manufacture products that have a very low um, carbon footprint.